So what's the first thing you notice about the Victory Vision Tour model? Give up? It's huge! Absolutely huge. At almost three metres long, it's uh, among the bigger tourers out there, and it has to be. It's taking on one of the most established and possibly the most recognisable motorcycle brand in the world, Harley Davidson. So it has to be big, it has to have impact, it, have to ha it has to have punch, and I don't think you can deny it has any of those. It's got Coke bottle styling, a very, very slim waist, uh, a massive frontal presence, and you're never going to mistake it from behind either. People see it, people look, people turn to stare. That is, to my mind, it's a um, Jetsons era bike. It's space age, yet somehow 50s retro at the same time, and it never fails to make an impact. It's comfortable one up, it's equally comfortable two up. It has a massive rear seat bolster, and you and her indoors or whoever you choose can travel in comfort for miles. The Victory has all the usual assets on a great big cruiser. It has an adjustable windscreen, a good loud stereo, heated grips, cruise control and also a very large clear logical dash. The motive power, the engine, 106 cubic inches, is made by Polaris in-house. It's not outsourced by anywhere. It's designed to have that big cruiser Harley look but is thoroughly modern in delivery. However, the, the starter motor sounds like it's over, off an old tractor. It's easy to overlook, but uh, something you shouldn't probably have on a $35,000 motorcycle. And it does, where the Harley has, has got many years to get their special sound refined, it does sound a little bit like a big air compressor when really pushed hard. The first thing I noticed when I sat on the car park is it's a very low seat height and a very narrow waist. It's quite easy to paddle around at low speeds, despite its 330 kilo weight. That, by the way, is about the same as a Goldwing. This is a version 1.0 bike though. There are a few things that um, stand out that I'm sure Polaris are addressing. The bottom of the belt drive, for example, is exposed. If you get a stone in a belt drive, that's the end of your trip. And I also thought the uh, cruise controls hunted a little, but um, no such comment from any of our other fellow testers, so yet to be, yet to be proven. The brakes, uh, the rear is good, it's strong, it has a lot of weight on it, but the front could be a little bit more powerful to pull this motorcycle up. Overall, I really like the Victory Vision. It's big, it's bold, it's brash, and it does everything really, really well. It's got big comfy seats, it's got great suspension, it actually handles really good for what looks like a really, really big bike. If you're interested or want to know more about Victory Motorcycles, go and speak to Brett at Silverfern Imports in Takanini. Uh, he's importing Victories and he can tell you everything you need to know about them. This bike we've got today is the Vision Tour um, Premium model. It's available for $35,995.